thanks for tuning in to the Black Cat Bushcraft channel. I'm Matt. Today I'm at my house just tinkering around a little bit and I wanted to complete a quick project and so I came up with the idea that I'll make up some fixing wax. I actually have not made fixing wax before so I took a close look at some recipes online to see what different people put in their fixing wax and so I kind of used ideas from different places and came up with my own recipe. I just wanted to make a small little amount of fixing wax uh, that I can put in a small tin and carry in my kit. So the recipe that I've come up with that I'm going to give a try for the first time here on this video is four ounces of beeswax, uh, two ounces of lard, just regular pig lard, and then one ounce of olive oil and one ounce of coconut oil. And basically a lot of the recipes that I saw were a 50-50 mixture of beeswax and lard or tallow, different things I saw go into that recipe. So I've balanced mine out with uh, four ounces of wax, two ounces of lard, one ounce of coconut oil, and one ounce of olive oil. I'm gonna put it all together over here on a little Coleman stove. We'll see how it turns out. Hopefully it'll be a good recipe. Stick with me and let's see how it goes. All right, well I've gone ahead and got this beeswax about melted down. I'm just using a, uh, a Dollar Tree loaf pan, which I picked up. I didn't want to get wax and everything all in one of my good pots, so I just picked this up because it was just a dollar and it was pretty cheap. And if this goes well, I'll be using it again for the same purpose. All right, I'm cheating a little bit today using the Coleman stove, but uh, it's just a little faster and easier than getting a fire started up to do this, but you could absolutely do this over a fire with coals. And as you can tell, uh, I'm in the city right now, so you can hear all kinds of background noise, which is very pleasant. Um, so what I've got in this container is uh, one ounce of olive oil and one ounce of coconut oil, and I just mixed them together. So I'm just gonna dump that in here. Let that melt in with the wax. So I've gone ahead and mixed in the olive oil and the coconut oil. And so now I'm gonna add the lard. Just let all this start to melt up together. So again, just to just to rehash, I've got four ounces of beeswax melted down, one ounce of coconut oil, one ounce of olive oil, and then two ounces of lard. All right, so all of that's melted together pretty good. I'm gonna give it just another minute, make sure it gets mixed in well. And then what I'm gonna do is pour it into the small tin. And this is just a screw top tin, which I bought from a supplier offline. It's not really a level surface. I think that'll work. So you can see this is a very simple and quick project to complete. Go ahead and turn the heat off on the stove. got a little tin inside the cap so hopefully it won't get too hot. It's perfect. I'm gonna grab another tin and I'll be right back. So I went and got myself just a bit of a bigger tin. Hopefully we'll hold the rest of this wax. Okay. This one will be for my home use. And the little one will go in my kit. It looks like it's still going to have a little left over. Hard to see how close that is to the top. Right at the surface. 
Yeah, I've got a little Altoids tin. I'll just pour the rest in. All right, so where I emptied that wax out of the pan, this down here is still liquid because it's still hot. But this cooled re really quickly in the pan. So I've just scraped up a little bit of that and got it on my finger here. It's already started to solidify. And I'm just rubbing that into the handle on this Mora knife. It's just a Mora classic knife. And uh, it has the unfinished birch wood handle. So I'm just rubbing that in, massaging it in, getting it all into the grains and all the, any little spot that I can, like in the backside, the butt of the knife there. Just get that wax down in there, keep water from getting into it, help preserve the handle. Makes your handle feel good as well. It gives it that kind of, a little bit of a tackier feel maybe, waxy feel, keep it from slipping in your hand. It also makes your knife smell good. Not that that's criteria for a knife. <laughs> But uh, you can actually use it on the blade of your knife as well. But uh, I actually prefer that more on my axe than I do on my knife. Just kind of wipe any excess off. And that's it. And once that dries and kind of soaks in, it's going to make that handle look a lot better. It already looks better. Feels better. I actually put birch oil on this handle about a year ago. But uh, this knife has been used quite a bit, so... It's good to probably retreat it from time to time. So instead of birch oil, since I don't have any of that right now, just use this fixing wax. All right, we'll see how this sets up. So while I'm waiting patiently for the wax to set up, I went ahead and scraped out the bottom of that that pan, and I got some of this fixing wax, which I just dropped. Anyway, I got some of that fixing wax on this little spatula I carved. This is one of those little five-minute fiddling around carving tool. Uh, tasks just messed around the other day I'd take that fix and wax and rub it in and massage it into this the grain of this wood so if you're making like a spoon or any camp utensils this would be something you could use to preserve them for a longer period of time so that actually gives that a very nice feel and I'm sure it's going to keep water from soaking into the wood and help to preserve that over the long haul I figure I might as well put that wax to use while I'm sitting here waiting on this all right well I've been waiting around maybe 10 minutes or so and this Fixing wax in a small container is already set up here and it's turned solid. Um, I know kind of what the consistency is going to be like because I got the original out of this tin right here, the original tin that I was, uh, you know, cooking it in, and uh, it was kind of like real firm chapstick. It wasn't nearly as hard as the original beeswax was, so it was very, you know, pliable. Definitely something you could use to smear, um, sort of like chapstick or, or that type of thing. Um, I think the recipe is going to be a perfect recipe. Uh, I like the way this turned out. Um, I think it's the perfect consistency. And I've just put it in this small screw top tin, which will be a perfect size to keep in my kit. All right, and uh, I'll put the recipe down in the description box, so that way if you're interested or you'd like to repeat this, um, that'll be a recipe there for you. I'm sure you could uh, change the amounts, make a lot more of it if you want, just following the same general you know, uh, ratios that I used. Um, this one's really starting to set up good now. It's funny, you can almost see it happening as it's solidifying. All right, it's been about an hour now since the wax was made outside and I brought it in the house where it's cool in here and it's set up really nice and hard. And what I did was I kind of used my hand to squeeze around the outside of the tin and the wax came out freely and made one big cake. So just to show you the consistency of the wax here as it's firm, but if you rub it with your hand, you get it off. You get the residue off on your hand. You can feel it very well. So that is what my big cake of fixing wax it, uh, looks like, how it turned out. When I hold it in my hand, I can feel it getting on my hand. So I can feel it, that, that greasy, waxy feel in my hand. So just wanted to show you what the big one turned out like. Anyway, I appreciate you guys taking the time to tune in for a quick video on how to make some fixing wax. This was really an experiment. As I said, this is my first time with this. Um, but I like the way it turned out, so I'll definitely be using this again, again in the future. Hope you guys are doing well. I look forward to talking to you again soon. Until then, take care and God bless.